Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Today we're back in Ardwick Junction just enjoying some beautiful cinematic camera shots. Look at that! It's part of the new update, it's a free update that's just come out and uh, you, can, you can create funky little cinematic shots like that, isn't that nice? Very pretty, very pretty. Uh, anyway, what are we doing today? Well, I mean, the zoo, as you can see, is absolutely packed. There's so many people in this zoo. The money is flowing like there's no tomorrow. And, uh, all right, there we go. We'll, we'll bin this route. I, I don't want to say that. How do I, can I get rid of that? No, oh, I'll just delete all of those keyframes out of it. There we go. That'll do. Now, uh, what we do need is we've just downloaded the new Arid Animal Pack, which uh, there's a link in the description to that. It gives you a couple new animals. It's a paid DLC. And, uh, yeah, they sent me a key for it, uh, the good people at Keymailer. So uh, we're going to see what that has to offer. So let's have a look in the animal trading section for a start. Can we, can we sort that by pack? We've got filters there. No. Okay, I'm sure that there's a way that we can. There's another way that we can we can do something about this in terms of buy pack. I, I don't know. Species search, favorites only, refresh the list. Okay, right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Uh, I'm just going to minimise that for a second. We're going to actually go on the Steam page. I'm going to move that across there onto that side. I realise you can't see any of this, but don't panic. Don't panic. Right, the arid animal Peggy pack. Three. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Right, it's playing the trailer. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so we have got a couple of things. What have we got? Uh, the arid animal pack. Discover the mir miraculous... Yeah, it's miraculous. Why couldn't I read that? Uh, wildlife of the world's dunes, deserts and dusty plains. Eight incredible new species into your pack, which is exciting. We've got a new scenario and apparently there's some new animations. Uh, llamas spit at people as well. There you go. That's that's exciting. Seven pound ninety nine for this DLC. It doesn't actually. Do you know what? I wish it would just give you a list of uh, what you what you actually get. Where is it now? Uh, right there we go. Uh, including the Demeditary camel, Dromedary even, African crested porcupine, Adax Somali wild ass. Wow. Black rhino, Sankat drama gazelle or dama gazelle. Uh, and the elusive desert horned viper. So uh, yeah, I think we need a desert area. We've got uh, our cold area there. So next door to that, a desert area would look brilliant. We've also already got the ostriches here. They uh, they like a nice hot climate, don't they, the ostriches? So what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to do that. There we go. Yeah, we're back on it. Back on it. Uh, we're going to go for... Have we got a nice path there? Yes, we have. Uh, what's that? That's a natural path. Ooh, a bamboo vertical path. A mosaic path. That might look a bit funky, mightn't it? If we stick you on there, we could actually do this to there, couldn't we? There we go. Right, we'll, we'll have the mosaic path coming down here. Because this is quite a hot area, isn't it? And mosaics are a, are a hot thing. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go off this way, like that, and then that can go off this way, like that. I have no idea what we're doing with that, but what I think we're going to do is we're going to have a barrier in the middle here. Uh, what will it be? Steel mesh, not water sight, obviously. It is climbable. So it would make more sense to use the brick one, wouldn't it? But what we'll do is, oh, we'll go with electric. Should we go with electric? Because we could put some rhinoceroses. Right, hang on, how do we can, we, can we make that a little bit shorter? There we go, right. Length. There we go, that's better. Bit of electric fence there. Beautiful, and then we'll we'll drag that down there like that. I think that that will will that be big enough for some rhinos? I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. Right, where's where's the? I want more fence, electric fence. Yeah. 
There we go. Right, add it on. There we go. Lovely. That's that's an acceptable amount of space for a rhino, I think. We could probably do with a bit more space. Probably, maybe. I mean, the rhino actually has... Yeah, do you know what we're going to do? We're, we're actually going to delete... Yeah, no. Yeah. Delete all that. And we're going to build it bigger. Because, I mean, it's not like we've actually got... You know, we're not lacking in space, are we, by any stretch. So we'll, we'll build you bigger. And people are going to whinge out there that they won't be able to see the rhino, but it's it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So what we'll do, because we've got that ugly little bit there, we'll put a, we'll put the gate on there. But we'll, we'll build the path past it first. There we go. Put the, uh, put the doodah there. Uh, no, hang on, it's going to be in barriers, isn't it? Where it was before. Yeah, glass habitat gate. Now... This electric fence. Shall we? Um, shall we edit the barrier? And make it a little bit higher. Shall we make it three meters, just so that you know we're we're, we're all right there, right? With three meters. I'm hoping none of the guests are going to touch it. What's this as well? This is a generator. Yes. So this should be live now, shouldn't it? So what we're going to do is we are going to get. Uh, yeah. Oh, an adax. Look, there we go. That's new. Uh, right, hang on. Rhino. Black rhinoceros. Oh, there aren't any. That's annoying. <laughs> Excellent. Um, right. Oh, wind turbine requires repair. Right, okay. Go and go and fix it then, quick, before all the snow starts melting. Right, so we've got a new area for rhinoceroses, and we've got no rhinoceroses to put in there. That's a problem. Okay, uh, right. We got anything else? What's uh, what 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 about that snake that they were on about? Something about an adder. Well, what we could do is we could put facilities there. Does it come under arid? Can we can we filter by the theme? Okay, no. Uh, what about the content pack? There we go. Arid pack. Nothing. We can't have anything. We've got no scenery for, like, the arid pack. I wanted something sort of, um... What's the word? Like, like African-type themed. So, obviously, not an aquatic. Because that... No. I wanted it to have a little bit of an Africa theme. You know, like, quite deserty, quite, um... What's, what's that? That, again, aquatic. Yeah, you, you're not... You're not sort of... What's that? Nope, still aquatic. <laughs> You know when you're hanging around all those things at the top that are all aquatic? Yep. Right, I tell you what, have we got... We have an Africa theme. I've not researched it yet. For goodness sake, Joe, you moron. Right, stop researching Asia. Start researching the Africa theme, because this is... This is what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll do. What's Oswald researching? Uh, shelters and climbing. Well, that is an important thing to be researching, Oswald. Yep, that that is a very, very important thing to be uh, researching. Right, just bear with me two seconds. Planet Zoo Arid. There we go. I'm going to actually have the um, the the link open on my um, on my eye telephone because then I can actually see the animals because it, it's it's becoming a bit of a pain having to swap. Uh, right, hang on. So, what can we get? We can get the uh, the black rhino, the sand cat. Oh, I wonder if the... what What's the sand cat? That could live in somewhere so big, couldn't it? Oh, black rhinoceros. Ooh. Right, yes. There we go. We'll have that. Put it in there. I don't bother sending them to the, uh, the quarantine, as you know. Well... I don't bother sending them to the quarantine when uh, when there's nothing to quarantine them from. They can just quarantine in the, you know, in the in here. Right, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll we'll change up the length. There we go. You can you've got a good view of the rhinos. Good view of the rhinos. Whatever you do, just don't touch the fence, everybody. If you can just not do that, that'd be lovely. Right now, what do we need to do? Uh, we need to go on for silly bobs. 
and uh, we need to get some uh, we need to get some information informative posters don't we let's have a conservative uh, not a conservative let's have a conservation education board we'll pop that on the corner like that there we go everyone can see that thing can't they okay it's a little bit embedded in the electric fence but it's not the end of the world there we go stick a few of them round and we'll have to really really kind of hit home how Rhinos are affected by uh, the, the world falling apart. Right, here we go. Oh, it's a rhino, ladies and gentlemen. What's it called? Akani. Akani. Well, welcome to our uh, our place, Akani. You hate your environment. Okie dokie. Well, well, we'll aim to do something about that. So, terrain is terrible. So, what do we need? We need more short grass. Should we, should we go for a slightly bigger... Yeah, there we go. Right, we'll have more short grass down here. We've got enough short grass. Uh, we need more soil. Feeling a bit of, bit of light soil. Bit of light soil around there. But then what we will do, just to sort of, we'll make that smaller. Just a bit of heavy soil, just sort of woven in and out like that. Just to, you know, it just makes it look a bit, a bit more natural. Now, coarse sand, I think we're going to use for this. Yeah, there we go. We'll have coarse sand around there. He is a lot happier, look. We'll get the, get the coarse sand in. And a little, little bit of fine sand like that. Just to sort of layer it a little bit more. Makes it look a bit more normal, doesn't it? Rather than one complete texture. Now, you need hard shelter. Well, I can do that. Habitat. Uh, right, hang on. Shelters. Shelters, right. I mean, these are wooden basic, wooden basic shelters. Move one in the middle. Oh, okay, he's happy with that. Ooh, look, we've got that. Ooh, clever. Funky. But that is very much not, <laughs> not what we want. Ooh. I should have maybe used one of these. Um, see, the large cat habitat, I could use that for the African cat thing. We could use that, couldn't we? Right, dangerous fighting due to overcrowding. Who's fighting now? The snow leopard. I didn't know we had that many. How many animals have we got in here? Right, okay. Uh, right, what's what's this? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Right, let's let's look at the animals. What's that? Outsider. Why are they fighting for? Right. Should we get rid of Bayarma? We'll get rid of Bayarma, possibly. Uh, right, hang on. Release animal to the wild. There we go. Have it. Because obviously Balorma, I don't know why it has that accent when I say it, but Balorma is uh, is younger, so we'll obviously spend more time in the zoo. So we may as well release the older one to the wild, haven't we? Right, mechanic research is complete. Ooh, shelters and climbing. Lovely. Researching the doll sheep, of course. Now, enrichment... He's absolutely bored, isn't he? Right, okie dokie. Oh, more vet research. Okay, well the vet research is important, of course. I, I do grant you that it is important. I would like you to research the rhino. Oh, they're advanced researching the pandas. Right, sack the doll sheep off for the time being. Research the black rhinoceros, because this is going to be a big sort of attraction, isn't it? Let's have a look. Can we buy another black rhinoceros yet? Be good if we could. Black wildebeest. But not a black rhinoceros. Right, okay. That's that's absolutely fine. Let's have a look in the habitat and the enrichment. Enrichment items. Can we filter by species? Black rhinoceros. There we go. Right, okay. So we'll have a couple of these doodars littered about. I do realise as well, I haven't put in uh, any sort of 
Right, is he happy? Enrichment is at 100%. That's good. I haven't put any, uh, like, sort of way of feeding the, uh, the black rhinoceros. So we'll put a food trough. Put a food trough down there. And then we'll have a water pipe somewhere near his, uh, near his house. There we go. Look at that. Now, in terms of actual... Do we mind foliage? Plants. Okay, we can actually have some plant and tree. Oh no, the Arctic Wolf's about to die of old age. That's sad. Oh no, Arctic Wolf's passed away. Oh, that's sad. Right, let's just call a vet to do something about that, because, you know, this chap next door's not very happy. He says it's like living in an old people's home. Someone next door's just croaked it. Like, nurse! Right, why is this animal stressed? Is it because it can see everyone looking at it? Right, how about a bit of one-way glass then? Let's, uh, yeah. Or is it stressed because I've absolutely planted the heck out of there? Why would, why would it think that was the right way for the one-way glass? How do you... Is, is there a way to sort of change the, <laughs> the side that the one-way glass is on? No? Oh, there we go. Right, there we go. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Same again with you. Yeah, let's just, let's just change the side the glass is on. Right, are our pandas happier now? Oh no, what am I doing? What am I... That wasn't meant to happen. No! Oh, hell's bells. Right, there we go. Put that back in. <laughs> oh dear. Right, hang on. That needs glass in it. Yep, lovely. But it needs to be the other side. We got there in the end, people. Now, are you happier, Mr. Panda? Yes, much happier. Yeah, there we go. Right, they just needed a bit of one-way glass. The panda's habitat does look quite cluttered, doesn't it? But I, I like it. What's that? Hmm. Right, anyway, back to Mr. Rhinoceros. So, we need to... Uh, so, in the habitat... Uh, not in the habitat. It needs to be in nature, doesn't it? So, can we sort that by... Uh, by species. Hmm. Right. Let's let's do the old. I mean, it's sort of cheating, isn't it? But if we go on environment and just do do do. There we go. We've got everything we need now. Aloe vera. Heck. Candelabra tree. That'll do. Have a couple of them. A couple of pine trees. Put these in the uh, in this area. Little aloe vera's around the bottom. And just a couple like that, yeah. Put that in the shade, there we go. Just a couple. What about a couple of uh, a couple of small ones sprouting up around there, yeah. Just, uh, I mean, uh, you've all seen that my decorating skills are absolutely atrocious. So over here we'll have uh, some desert rocks. Ooh, yeah, sink that into the ground. What about some more over in the sandy area? Have we got different types of... Ooh, red desert rock, lovely. Sink them down. That can have fallen over. A couple more. Some dry grassland around here. Look at that. We'll, we'll put that by the rock as if it's... Multiple animals have low welfare. I beg to differ. Who has low welfare? Oh, more things require repair. Excellent. Uh, right, hang on, hang on. Akani just... just Chill. I'll be back in a moment. 
What have we researched? The Africa the theme, excellent. Right, you ne need repair, you need that. Multiple animals have low welfare. Oh, in here? How many animals are there? Flipping heck, that is a lot of scorpions. Right, okay. So, we need... Uh, we need to go in management, don't we? Manage the population. We can have two males. Appeal. Keep that. Yeah, we want the highest appealing ones. Manage the population. Just two. Appeal. There we go. Keep the highest appealing ones. There we go. Are you, are you happier now? We'll have two. Two of each. There we go. Where is it? Appeal. Same again. Appeal. There we go. Right. So have we actually got quite a bit stored in the trading centre then? Oh, flipping it. Yeah, we do. Right. Okay. How much are we going to sell all these for? Eight grand. That'll do. Could release them to the wild, but they're not that endangered, are they? Oh, there's a balloon up there somewhere. There it is. Should we pop it? Pop. Oh, the Arctic Wolves had offspring. That's good. Good to know. How's Akani doing over here? Can't even see him. Is he in there? No. Oh, he's over here near the rock. I don't seem that bothered about water. I could maybe... They don't really need any water, do they? Just... Seems like it would be quite nice to add a bit of water in, but uh, but hey ho, another another mechanic required. Right, where's my dry grassland? There we go. We'll add you round there. Another one round there. And again, I I just think that's sort of where you would see a bit of grassland like that is round round the rock. Okay, so I'm not the best, am I, to, at all this decorating, but it doesn't matter. Let's have another... What have we got? Some rocks here. Ooh, a weeping willow. That's nice. You should really be by some water, shouldn't you? But uh, hey-ho. Just in case he wants a bit of... Okay, it looks ridiculous, doesn't it, all of that stuff? But if he wants a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of shade, then uh, then he can do that. There you go, a bit more shade under here. And you can just potter about. Is uh, is your yeah? We've not covered too much plant. I mean, to be fair, we've only done three percent with all that. I could do a lot more. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. But what we do need as well... Uh, oh, hang on, what's this? Water treatment requires repair. Why is everything sort of falling apart at the moment? Have I got all the mechanics doing research by any chance? Is that why everything's falling apart? I don't know. Uh, oh, we need to actually select that to do some... Uh, right, what are we doing? We'll go with climate change on that one. Is it climate change? Uh, poaching. Poaching. We'll go with poaching because that's, you know, rhino. Sensible. 64% of something or others. Oh, it actually tells you what it what it says on there. That's flipping out. There's uh, a lot of information, isn't there? Right, what we do need to do as well, which I haven't done, is I haven't put an information... I haven't put information doodars, have I? Which are in facilities. Facilities, facilities... I've also not got any bins, ever. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible. There we go. Oh, not that one. Information board. We need an information board that says don't touch electric fence. Right, black rhino. There we go. Right, okay. So can we select the group? Duplicate. Okay. 
Stick another one down there. Yeah, lovely. Another one there. So that's out of the uh, the electronic electronological range. So we'll uh, we'll stick him there. And we need to put a transformer down of some sort, don't we? Stick you that side. That'll do. Another one down there. And last but not least, down at the end here. Right, so we need transformers, don't we? Uh, b -b 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 where is it? It's under facilities. Power, 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 power. Over with the wind turbine. That'll do. And then up here. So everyone seems to be in the uh, in the electric circles there, don't they? So what we'll do, get a bit of path. Oh, perhaps not that much path. Uh, yeah, just, just a one metre shindig will do. And the same again down here. Just a staff only. Could do with, you know, putting maybe... Ah, yeah, you see, it's quite a big habitat, isn't it? So we'll put a couple of drinking doodars around. So there's always enough sort of water for them to drink. I, I think that that is, you know, that is one happy animal. It must be a happy animal, surely. Right, we're going to leave two of the mechanics doing mechanic -y things because everything's breaking down, isn't it? So we're going to leave you doing that. In fact, we've got that much money. What I think we should do is we should nip into the staff section. We should train all the keepers up. In fact, no, we should we should just train everybody up. Is it just keepers that... No, educators, yeah, train you. Caretakers, yeah, some of you are still only one star. We need to train you more. And again, the vendors, the vendors need to be uh, trained as well. We want well-trained staff, don't we? Uh, what I do want as well, though, is we're going to have another two mechanics. Because again, everything's breaking, and we're going to have another two vets. That'll do. Off you go, veterinarians. We could do with something like here, couldn't we? Maybe, now we've got the Africa theming, maybe some sort of food and drink services. Having said that, we've got food and drink here. Would the food and drink being here as well be a little bit too close? Well, what we could do... Ooh, now, that's quite nice. We might have to finish this next time. But what we could do... What, what tiles have we got? Cobblestone. Decorative brick. Ooh. Gold path. Hideous, isn't it? Right. Align to a grid. That'll do. Right, we'll, we'll stick a golden bit there. That looks... Yeah, it's not a good look, is it? But what we'll do is we'll put some facilities. We'll put some food and drink places. Uh, shops, guest facilities. We've got, like, with an African theme. Got the East Asia, Arctic, Aquatic. On it zoo style. Maybe we need to wait a little bit longer until we... Unlock those. We've got to burn his bakes. Maybe not yet. Don't know what we're going to do with that. We'll uh, we'll see. We will see. Yes. Right, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope you've enjoyed that. If you have enjoyed it, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think we should do next. I mean, to be honest with you, we need more rhinoceroses. Uh, I don't know if we can perhaps buy a rhinoceros or snow. Uh, is the one available? Black rhino. Yes. Right, there we go. Adopt. Send to the zoo. And this time we'll put you in the quarantine because, you know, we're just, we're just good. We're just good like that. Yes, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, click the like button. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you keep up with the series. And uh, apart from that, yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.